Hello. <laughs> Thank you all so much for joining me today. Please forgive me if I fumble my words, as I've never spoken in this capacity before a group of people before. Though I've been in the visual and performing arts my whole life, I spent many of those years singing others' songs, telling others' stories. I never could have dreamed that one day art would bring me to this point standing before you, speaking on my work in my own words. But again, I also don't think I ever thought I'd be operating heavy machinery at 30 <laughs> feet up in the air either. Um, I do not say this lightly when I express that art has saved my life through the years in more ways than one. Moving to a new country and going through turbulent changes early in life, I found solace in my drawings, retreating quietly into my sketchbooks and daydreams. However, in all its comfort, escapism through art was always a very sacred and solitary practice and in its own way isolating. And though art has always been a crucial element in my personal life, I truly believe the power of art in shared spaces can have an even deeper, more profound impact. Through the last couple of years of painting murals, I have found myself pushing beyond comfort zones, creatively, physically, and socially. I've learned countless lessons about myself and the world and found so much beauty in making connections with others through sharing the same love for creating. In these peers, I found my unwavering and loving partner. I've made lifelong friends and met inspirational leaders, mentors, and so many others. So many who lent their words of encouragement when I floundered in carrying my own voice. Thank you to every single person who has worked tirelessly on this project long before the first stroke of paint even hit the wall to bring this to life. To those who came to the panels and shared your stories, your thoughts, time and input. Thank you for the hours, the trust and the vision without which we would not all be here today celebrating this mural for Houston Tillotson in the city of Austin. Thank you to my ancestors for their sacrifices guiding me here, allowing me to represent my family's last name on a wall in my birth language. <laughs> there is something about having hundreds of square feet in which to share your message that really makes you self-reflect on what you want that to say. <laughs> There was no doubt for me as to whether or not Mother Nature would be a woman of color. Her skin the same tone as the rich, fertile soil, her womb capable of creating life and her body nurture and sustain it. Furthermore, I wanted these figures to represent not just the past, present, and future, but specifically the multi-generational fight against the generational curses being perpetrated against this earth, our shared home, and the power in advocating for change and standing by your conviction, even if it means standing alone. Amen. The powerful divider and decider of the past and future, a resilient figure in the face of adversity. Do not limit yourself by the perceived expectations of others. You are your only competition. Strive to do your best, but also give yourself grace. Absolutely. Much like our relationship with the earth, may this mural be a reminder of the balance in life, of being gentle with yourself, and of the dichotomies that rule our existence. To be able to find hope in despair, to learn from mistakes, heal from transgressions, and right the wrongs. The archway opens like a portal into the unknown and bright future. The hands of our children, 
carrying on the torches of life, but also the heavy burdens of our failures as stewards of their equitable and just future. I hope that in 30 years, when my daughter is the age I am now, she will be living in a world where everybody sees the value in the natural gifts and wonders of this earth, where access to clean water, air, land, and food is in abundance, and where our rights to bodily autonomy and how we choose to live and love are never questioned. And if this mural still stands, that day I hope it is a distant reminder of the past and that no matter how dark the night, the sun will always rise in the east. Thank you.